I think we should start from emotions. Are men honestly sincere about their emotions? Do they know themselves well enough to be able to own their emotions and express it? Because I feel like um, a man who has rationalized his emotions is no different from a computer. <laughs> but don't you, don't you think to survive in this harsh world, a man needs to rationalize his emotions? No, to. no. You cannot rationalize your emotion. It's like saying everything that you possess has its characteristics and usefulness of its element. So for example, your hands have its function, your head is function, your legs is fun function, your rationale is function, and your emotions, it's function. So the moment you uh, bring your emotions and reduce their capacity, because one, you don't want to be perceived as weak, and that's why, first of all, socially, I think a lot of men will just try to rationalize their emotions. You do, because socially, you don't want to be perceived as weak. Then, your emotions become less functional, thereby making that area of life where emotion should prevail less useful, less, less functional for your benefit. Well, um, I, I want to believe that. Okay, I mean, I want to say that um, a man, what makes you a man is the fact that you can control your emotions. Yeah. That's what makes you a man. Okay, because... Yeah, I, I, I think that actually comes with maturity. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I, I think part of growing up is actually being able to control your emotions. Um, okay, in my work here, I see... I see... I, I am confronted with a lot of emotional situations. Mm -hmm. you know? As a lawyer, you could see someone go down for five years or ten years, or you could see someone who's been incarcerated in Nigeria for seven years without trial. Yeah. And then your emotions come in, and you're like, "But at the end of the day, as a man, one of your one of your one of the things that will make you a man is your maturity, your ability to discern." Okay. See, and also, you have to talk about which emotions we're actually talking about. Talking about yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it's also good to show some emotion, like happiness. Okay. Yeah, happiness okay. Is an emotion, yeah. Okay. Um, you're talking about. What are you talking about? The ability to control your emotions. Thank you. Control is different from owning it and showing it. For example, if you felt hurt, if you were in a relationship mm -hmm. and you felt hurt and you wanted to cry, would you cry? I would cry, yeah, but yeah. I wouldn't cry in front, in front of everyone. I mean, that's what makes you a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm would you cry in front of your <laughs> wife or in front of your lover? Would you cry I in front of your lover? Well, in front of what? my wife, maybe. Yes, in front of my wife, I would cry. Oh, but in front yeah. of my wife, I don't see a problem yeah. with that. Yeah. Yeah, in front of I mean, you have, Jose Mourinho said one day that he cries with his family, he laughs with his family. He laughs with his family. You know? I think it's only so, you know, so fair that, man, although, although what I will think of at times is this. I think of, I think of Hollywood, I think of movies today, and I think of how, how men are portrayed. You know, there, there seems to be... <laughs> so there, there seems to be a diminished, yeah, so press portrayal of men. Where they're like, um, okay, yeah, he, he cried, he cried openly and all that. You know, men don't men on screen don't don't have the characteristics of what a man should have. Embody. Have, yeah, yeah, should embody, yeah. Okay, so um I'm gonna move slightly from showing of emotion and into the fact that there's a social representation of what a man looks like. One of which is the role of a man, which I feel socially has been it's been tampered with so much, so bad, the man is to chase success. And the social definition of success is money, ownership of property and money. Mm -hmm. And that has made men who are trying to be socially accepted aim for a social acceptance that's just money in the bank. So they fail at home and do nothing at home if they even have a home to begin with. So I, I think, I'm, no, I'm serious. Oh, then again, it's my social perception of the interpretation of the 21st century man. Any objections can speak after the beep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, I was with a doctor in um, Nairobi, Kenya, yeah. some weeks ago. And um, I was trying to think about what, because, you know, he said it's so fast. He came... He came at me so fast that I couldn't really comprehend everything he said. Okay. He was trying to talk about uh, the fact that men are really overrated. Thank you. You know, um, I mean, before now, the man was meant to be in control. The man was meant to do 
was meant to fend for the family. Yeah. The man was meant to assist the wife in fixing, or you fetch wood, you, you know, do all mm -hmm. those things. Mm -hmm. But right now, because you don't, there's no need for those things anymore. And whatever technology is gradually eroding or taking, playing the role that a man should play in the family and also in the life of a woman. The significance of man is is almost next to nothing. I mean, the man I never thought of it you. prior to that moment. And when he said it, he struck me like, no, that's that can be. <laughs> that is not true, you know. But if you look at it, I think it's perception. It is perception. Everything, I, I think everything in life is all about perception. Mm -hmm. Your ability to sell the idea to people, mm -hmm. and if you can put it forward, convince them, they will see with they will see reasons with you, and gradually, they just start start to shift along your uh, you know thinking yeah, pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's what is happening. But I, I disagree. That. I disagree that the role of man, because you see. I, I know you're trying to wait against what you do in your home as a man. Yes, but. as a man. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let's even no, talk no, about it emotionally. <laughs> emotionally, financially, um, you, know, you know, ramification of life. Mm -hmm. I think a man is a man. Okay. And let's start from his being. Mm -hmm. The ability to control your emotion. I, that is something women find pretty hard to do. But men do it effortlessly. If you're a man, if you're mature, you, you have the ability to do it effortlessly. Yeah, but that is only a part of what you can do with your emotion. I there are other I, things I, I, you I, can I, do with your emotions. <laughs> <laughs> I also go as far as effortlessly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think even with maturity, you need to, you know, you need to touch it up. But I understand what you're saying to an extent. I understand the fact that, yeah, technology because has I feel like, played a big role, yeah. Okay, like, just, for example, yeah, think about it. I, thinking about it now, I was actually thinking about it, I was like, hold on. If I was bringing in firewood, yeah. you know, for my wife every night, yeah, yeah. And, I was, and I was bringing it to her every night and saying, here, yeah, here, here, baby, here's some nice firewood. This will make a great fire for you to cook for us. Will she appreciate me more? But then again, it's like, you also Back in the day, she said, probably would have. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she would have appreciated that. But you said something now. You said, okay, think of how we are... How we are in Nigeria, think yeah. of how a Nigerian man is expected to behave here. Yeah. You can't run away from your role as a man here. Yeah. And our women are very good yeah. in making sure that we comply with the fact that we can never <laughs> we can never hide from our responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Think here. You can't a man's job is to provide. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, technology might have changed some things, yeah, but coming coming from England and I'm thinking, okay, in England you don't have you don't have anybody disturbing you. A woman is taking pride in the fact that she is independent already. Mm -hmm, yeah? mm -hmm. So you don't have anybody disturbing you. I, but I, here I, in Nigeria, you're with a woman and she's letting you know from day one that, look, you have to provide. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you have to provide. Yeah, you know, she's in your face telling you that you have to provide. You, know, yeah. you see, she would, she would be subtle all the time. She'll tell you stuff like, oh, her friends have gone on holiday and this is that. You know, I don't have a problem with that simply because I think it brings out the best in people. Okay, yeah. but then again, it also brings out the worst in some men, because what is, what has not happened in a society like Nigeria, where that is so 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 important, mm. is that a lot of men now turn to anything to make oh that my. money, and it's it's come to a stage in Lagos, especially where you don't even ask people again, what do you do? <laughs> you just assume you just, you just assume he's employed. Yeah, you have money, yeah, 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 like he's employed. Yeah. You know, it's 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 that bad, but that's the only benefit I see of it. But I I will agree with you that yeah, it has changed. Okay, and, good. But I, I want to say something as well. I mean, if you look at Nigerian, a typical Nigerian man hmm. versus typical Kenyan man, I'll tell you where where you can describe a Nigerian as a man mm -hmm. and the Kenyan as mm. a woman. Mm -hmm. something else Fair because enough. they're not in perception and in reality if you check out you know um in nigeria you have to fend for your family you have to you know protect you have to them. be tough you, you have, have to go to, at the pace you know you need to do everything you need to be on top of it mm -hmm. yeah you have to be seen even if you're not up to the task mm -hmm. as you're trying to catch up you have to be seen to be. to be you know but a kenyan man a typical 
East Africa is relaxed. Take for instance, you go out with ladies, you know, for a drink. Mm -hmm. At the end of that, you know, oh, good time. And then they bring the bill. In Nigeria, the man or the men, it's not even your business as a lady. Yeah. You know, the men would naturally just pick the bill. Okay, let me have the bill. So, are you, oh, no, 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 I'll take it. And yeah, he pays. He pays. In Kenya. <laughs> you bring it. This <laughs> is the bill. I, I mean, I saw it for the first time maybe like three years ago, and I was shocked. I mean, why okay, would you do so that? Could, that? could that also be a difference in culture? Because, because, um, because, um, you see, like, I'm very familiar with that practice, and I know it has to do with Dutch. I mean, like, but, we, went out for, we, went out, we went out for one a few weeks ago, and the conversation is how in the UK they go Dutch. So I just asked, like, am I paying for my food just in case? And he was like, oh, no, 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 no. So he's still Nigerian. He's still a Nigerian man. Someone told me, although a good friend, the way a good friend put it to me one day was he was like, when you're in Nigeria, act like a Nigerian, when you're in Rome, you can act like a Roman, you know? <laughs> which is fair enough, yeah, and I thought that was fair. But um, I don't really have a problem with going Dutch. Yeah, you won't. Here, yeah, university here, I was Dutch a lot of times, you know, and it did save me money. So I, I can, I can understand. I won't say it. I won't say it totally diminishes your responsibility as a, of, as a man. Mm -hmm. But when it becomes a problem, is when that same guy comes to Nigeria and say he's having dinner with us, and then he asks Joyce to pay for herself, and I'll be like, hey, what's up, you know? And I, yeah. I do have some friends in Nigeria who would make a girl pay, actually. Yeah. Yeah, who will make a girl pay? Huh? I don't want to meet them, just saying. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. A meet lot of girls never want to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. A lot of girls actually never want to well, meet them. Well, maybe it's so foreign to me. I'm yeah. Not, I'm not used to letting women pay. You know, I'm not used to that. So if you're, if you're talking about control, that's what makes you a man. A man, yeah. you're supposed to provide, you're supposed to be the priest, you're supposed to protect. You know, so, I mean, those are your core responsibilities. You know, but don't so you think growing up, if you grew up in another society, don't you think, for example, yeah, like moving back here, I had to learn how to be a man here again. You know, you were talking about how we had lunch the other day and how I said don't pay, you know. Yeah. If five years ago, I would have probably said, happily said, yeah, let's go Dutch. Yeah. But I had to learn that again. Would, would, would you say that that's like, that could be a problem? Some men never learn that stuff. Some men come back when they're forty. And, and and this is what happens. And this and this is what happens with not learning. Yeah. Yeah. You never grow. Again, women are complaining that men are becoming weak. And yes, I dare say that a lot of men are actually becoming weak, and women are manning up, so that you can see the weakness in their character, so that you can see more women are stronger and men are becoming weaker. And that you can blame on the fact that men are not learning, men are not growing men are not owning responsibilities. So women are being both women and then trying to be men at the same time. I said, I said something to my sister yesterday and I said, um, she was talking about her son and I was like, only a man can raise a man. But if I, believe it, it, that, I, I believe that so strongly because I believe a lot of men on earth never reach the age of maturity. I'm sorry. No, 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 you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I know I, one, I two. So. I would even count a couple of ex-presidents who oh, never, in Nigeria. Yeah, who I know are never, who were never mature, you know, <laughs> who were never Even mature. at 60 yeah. something. Even at 60, even in the 70s, you know. There are a lot of people like that who are not mature. But, okay now, I have two things to say to what you have just said. To own a man, Complete your phrase. To own a man makes um, a man. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, to own a man makes a man. So if your mother owned you and she couldn't make you, then there's a hand down of a responsibility to make you. That's so much. You're going through so many hands. If you're not picking lessons as you're coming, you must really be a tough student. She will do her best. Okay. But mm -hmm. I'm saying what I'm saying is that there are still a lot of things. Like for example, yeah, I classify myself as a mature. Yeah. yeah, there are a lot of things that I had to learn. Mm -hmm. I had to go and work on myself, especially. I had to read a lot. I had to. Uh, my, my mom could only do so much, you know. Yeah. My dad did what he could do, mm -hmm. you know, but ultimately, it's all about yourself as well. You have to. You have to be the one that wants to grow. You have to be the one that wants to do things right. You know. And okay. 
Finally, you know the truth, I agree with you because my relationship with men and, you know, being in love, I just realized that, oh God, like this is literally a four-year-old boy. So you just see that you have a lot of cleaning after to do, a lot of, <laughs> hey, don't do that. Hey, like, you're, how old are you again? Can you remind us, please? Like, you can't be doing this at this age. So I really would say I agree with owning a man helps make the man. But goodness, if the man is not willing to learn, because there's a social influence that has pushed some men to think that being male makes you a man. I've had to remind some guys, the fact that you're male don't make, don't make you a man. And some men will be like, yeah, I'm a man. I have an intern who, when I bring up issues, and he'll be like, oh, Joyce, you know, he's 25. I'm a man. And I'm like, you're trying to remind me you're a man. If you were a man, you wouldn't even have to introduce yourself that you're a man. I would know that you're a man because your actions would be manly. Your thoughts would be manly. So we have like 40-year-olds who are literally 14-year-old boys acting like kids. And then they argue with you and want to dominate you, reminding you, I'm a man. And then there I go objecting. Then no. I object. You're not a man. And then I could be perceived as something near insulting. I think we need to break it down. <clears throat> what are the core responsibilities of the man? I, I, feel, I feel first, before we go, go with the responsibility, who is the man? Because the moment a man finds himself, he automatically finds his responsibility. I don't think the responsibility will come before the knowledge of a man. This is my thinking. A, a man has to know himself to know his responsibility. The same way, before I know the responsibility of what it takes to be a woman, I have to understand what a woman is. So that automatically I find my responsibility and that I'm not trying to be both man and woman. Or, or, or push or run after, run after the commercialized idea of feminism. I'm not a feminist. Yes, I have my opinions, but I'm not a feminist. That's why you have to not think about life experiences and everything that the individual has gone through. You know, yeah. there's some guys who just... Okay, for example, like, if, if, if my... If, I was say meant to be king mm -hmm. and I lost my dad when I was ten mm -hmm. and I had to assume the throne when I was eleven. Mm -hmm. I believe I'd be I'd be more mature than someone who became king at thirty. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because life has then thrown me a challenge, you know. Yeah. So it all depends on life experience and as well. Okay. Now you were saying something about, you know, the social mm -hmm. representation of men. Have you noticed anything that you think doesn't portray men in the right light socially? Oh, of, course, of course, I've noticed loads. I mean, besides the looks, which is like, oh, oh, yeah, pisses I've, me I've, off. I've noticed loads of things. Um, <laughs> for example, in movies, in movies, yeah, when you watch, especially romantic movies these days, yeah, yeah. when you watch, okay, a movie like Along Came Polly, you see how, you see how the guy walks away from, he, basically he gets cheated on a one relationship, he walks away from that relationship mm -hmm. and then he meets another girl who kind of chooses him, Yeah, you get, yeah. says yeah, okay, you're my guy now, you know, and, mm -hmm. the movie, and that's how most movies are planned these days, it's mm -hmm. like, the girl chooses the guy, mm -hmm. whereas usually it's the guy yeah, that yeah. chooses the lady, you know, it's like, it's, 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 it's different, mm -hmm. I was like, and I saw that growing up as well, in, when I was doing my A-levels in class, you know, You'd hear the girls talking within themselves, and you'd be like, "This girl fancies this guy." Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like the fancying has to come from the girl for such a long time before mm -hmm. the guy even makes a move. And yeah. I'm like, "Hold on, like that's not how it's meant to be." Mm -hmm. the guy it's supposed is to be the to other go, way. Yeah, and I say, "What do I like?" And pick, you know. Yeah, like, the, the, work. The, they're supposed to, but again, when a man, when a boy hasn't come to manhood and he's 35, and there is a woman who's in love with him, you realize that she's matured so quickly. Yeah, she's having she to knows. cover grounds yeah. to get to him and then sometimes a woman is standing in front of your face and she's like oh I'm in love with you but it's plain English but you cannot decode it because you're still in primary four but mentally can you, but can you can you actually tell if someone's in love that quickly because I, I believe I believe that as an alpha male for a woman to fall in love with me, I have to do certain things, you know. I, I don't believe in a woman coming in and saying, yeah, oh, I'm seeing you I, I I'm in love with you. I believe I have to take you out. I believe I have to listen to you. You have yeah. to have a good listener before you say, yeah, I'm in love with you. I no, of, of I course. But, but again, there are men who have done all these things for a woman. And they're, and they're just pretty friends. And she's saying, mm -hmm. this has gone past the friendship relationship. I'm feeling something a lot more. And he's like, eh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So what's on CNN? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he, he cannot well, decode then, it. Yeah, then, he can't, then she can't say she's in love with him. Well, that that not, that, that's not true. Yeah, that was, no, you see, the, th the fact that she would suffer does not mean she's not in love with him. Well, it just means enough, that you're in love with somebody who hasn't come to manhood. Yeah, and it's just So that's where I think owning him might help make him. Yeah, but, but then again, it might, well, in it, it's not cases, in his DNA to be owned by his woman. By the woman. But, no, you, but you, hold on now. But you said a few minutes ago, only the man makes a man. No, 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 no. How are no, you no, backtracking? No, 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 okay. <laughs> no, no, no. But, but, but you see, no, okay. but, but this is it. Again, okay. I'm, not to, I'm not aiming for the ownership. Okay. I'm just trying to say that this is the situation that's happening constantly in our society. Women are suffering in love because whom they're in love with cannot, hasn't mean, found himself. But you can't tell, you can't tell a rock. You can't tell somebody that's supposed to be the rock that he's not the rock. You see, they're Does different. That make sense? They're yeah. different. Like, <laughs> but, but this Everyone has that ego. Again, yeah. again, yeah. But, 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 but you see, the truth again is there are different kinds of rocks. Okay. To be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, they're better rocks. Yeah. They're alpha rocks. Yeah, they're, 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 so you, you probably see that though there's more to this guy, but he's literally just that rock made of sand formation. Yeah, but if, if he can't, if he's. Made of sand formation. Yeah. This is so. This is so literal. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's made of sand formation, and you know he's not going to start strong. <laughs> Why bother? No, 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 no. But no, you don't. You see, that's what you get. No, 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 no. But you see, he's made of sand formation. Does not mean he cannot stand strong. You know that at the point where you are meeting him and falling in love with him, he's not the man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You get he's this. He's not okay, the man okay, yet. Okay. I, I, he I, I, hasn't I can had full that. formation. I can appreciate that. And that's why a lot of well, women would prefer dating married men because they feel like he's been through some kind of leveling and yeah. chiseling and filing and he's come through experience and experience has made him better. Mm -hmm. And some women would just love to own a married man or an older man because of time. But then you meet these guys at 30, you can't even stand them. Well, at 30, how much... Do, do you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Exactly what we're saying. That, you know, the man knowing himself. Mm -hmm. Because at 30, a woman is probably 50 years old mentally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. and you meet yeah. someone at 30, the... That, no, it, it, it's a function of experience. They're fetus. Mm -hmm. It's a function of oh, experience. No, maybe not really. So you have, like, a 40-year-old man, and um, his mentality is worse than that of a 14-year-old. Yeah. But you have a 21-year-old boy or guy mm -hmm. that is so mature mm -hmm. what's i mean what's the difference sometimes it's about the environment knowledge the knowledge nature the yeah, Na nurture? nurture nurture from fatherhood yeah and also the environment experiences that you've you know been through you know so if you don't if life doesn't throw such challenges at you you don't know how to figure it out. Okay, here's my objection. I mean, so, yeah? This is my objection. <laughs> While I'd like to agree with you, I can wait to be 40 to be a mature woman. I can wait to be 50 to be a mature woman. But no, I'm choosing to go ahead of time. So I'm reading, I'm learning. Yes, I, there are some experiences that I have heard of that I haven't experienced. I've gone ahead of myself to read about it, to know it, to research it, to understand it. So that just in case I come by that experience, I'm not altogether thrown off balance due to lack of knowledge. The same thing with boys who are trying to become men. When you know you want to become a certain kind of man, you go reading about it, researching it, understanding it. So that you don't have to wait 10 years when the, when the experience is going to hit you mm -hmm. to come in contact with the experience yeah, due yeah, to getting knowledge. Thank you, you can learn. So what is happening now is a lot of men are not seeking manhood. Yeah. They're choosing not to be responsible. Yeah. They're choosing not yeah. to be responsible. Yeah. They're choosing not to own it. They're choosing not to be manly. So the women are becoming women, getting done with being women and being men. But don't you think because the press, don't you think the press is also guiding man into that? Thank you. I mean, I was just going to come from that perspective. <laughs> yeah, but don't you, you think see, they're guiding the major them? challenge we have right now is the role of the media mm -hmm. in raising kids. Mm -hmm. You know, generally, people don't actually know what to do they are told what to do yeah self-realization mm -hmm. of who you are 
and what you should be doing is mm -hmm. very important. But mm -hmm. people don't realize that. Mm -hmm. Now, the media, mm -hmm. not even the parents, because the parents are too busy doing one thing or the other. Mm -hmm. The media, your internet, technology mm -hmm. is helping people do that. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't understand that in Africa, generally. Mm -hmm. We just see media as a medium of entertainment, mm -hmm. not a medium for nurturing, mm -hmm. not a medium for educating people. Yeah. Do you understand? Absolutely. So, and that's going to affect, because if you look at a it man... It is affecting. It's a, no, it, it's killing the, the role of a man, mm -hmm. or, I mean, mm -hmm. the development of the mind mm -hmm. is killing it. Okay, so another objection. That's why they're not seeking, that's why they're not... The girls, girls say in Lagos okay. today that you can't find many good men. Yeah. Girls will tell you that there are not many good men. It's also good for men who, who have reached the mark to also keep improving themselves. Well, okay, now, th this, is, this is why I feel that that can be blamed on self and laziness. It is a man's responsibility first <clears throat> to think. So, are we dependent on media? who's also, uh, media is fashion, governed, regulated, set up by another man. Mm -hmm. Are we dependent on media to fashion our reasoning and our personality and our manhood? Or is it my responsibility, first as a human being, to think for myself so I can look no, and no, judge no, between no, good no, and no, evil? Yeah, no, let me come from the flip side. <laughs> this is going to have a part three. This has to have a part three. I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking at this from a typical Nigerian setting mm -hmm. or setup. Mm -hmm. The man is the head of the family and is meant to tell everyone else what to do. No, exactly. Now, no, that is that's see, how tradition. Okay. Our culture or tradition, yeah. that's what it teaches. Yeah. Now, you are not to think. So if your father says, do not do this, yeah. you are not to go against that. You're not to ask him, Daddy, sorry. Why? Why not? Why at a certain age. At a certain age. Yeah. Now, at, why? So, if you're saying that it is the responsibility of a man to think, think about what? Mm -hmm. That's okay. the question. Now, fine. For your father to still be making your decisions for you, you haven't come of age. My, my so at what house, age? I, 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 I'm afraid. No, have but, but honestly, though, you're not going to be living on your father's thoughts and instructions for the rest of your life. At some point, you uh, are of age to make your own decisions <laughs> and i would say that at that age yeah, and at that age. point I, and at that point you start thinking for well, yourself I, really i, 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 I agree I, 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 you're not but gonna I always be calling your dad with, but i have a friend who i had dinner with last night and he had just come back from his parents house which was funny now this my friend <laughs> got married about three years ago yeah yeah and he got divorced last year yeah you know i actually did his divorce for him and he now said to me he said oh that he has a girlfriend now he's been dating her for about six months and his father was like he told his father about her yesterday. Yeah. And his father was like, are you happy? He's like, um, hurry up, let's do wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then my friend turns around and my friend's <laughs> like, my friend's like, daddy, hold on, wait. I just made this mistake not too long ago. Yeah. And I'm just, thankfully, I came out of that, you know. Yeah. And now you want me to go and do this again. Yeah. And his dad is like, no, 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 no. Forget all that. Listen to me. Listen to me, I am a father, I know what's going on. And then he starts going on and he's like, Look, your happiness is important. Marry this one now so that we can get to know her. We can and then my friend was just like, Oh my god, he should have told the guy that he has yeah. But you see, we have something in our culture here yeah, which which even for saying I'll probably get into trouble. Mm -hmm. But if you're young, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Back to what you're saying, um, just before we round up, because this really has, needs a part three, because I want to talk about men and sexuality. And that looks like you're going to have like two parts. In <laughs> <laughs> but, but just before we round up, I remember the first time I traveled out of the house with five girls and one boy. The boys are last. And so, of course, you'd expect my father to be so guarded. He has girls. And I remember the first time I had to travel by myself out of the house, I was 19. What happened was I gained the respect of my father. If I called my father today and said something to him, he'll say to me, I trust your decision. And that's because over the years, I wanted him to trust my thinking, trust my decision. That's what I did for me. And I'm even a woman. 
So he'll say to me, oh, I trust your decision. My father would say, I'm leaving the house. I'm leaving the house in your hands. And I'm like, honey, that's your responsibility, you know? But that's because he trusts me. Yeah, but so but can men, can men right, gain right. respect and gain trust from their fathers? It's going to entail yeah, arguments. Yeah. It's going to entail you proving yourself. Yeah, but that you, culture, you have culture, to. Culture is a Thank big you. Deal. Culture, it depends you on where you're coming from. Yeah, exactly. It depends. You're you're not, okay, so are you also, are you yeah, real? Yeah. It could be yeah, yeah. Right. It's it's a 21st century, century yeah. man. But I feel like if. if Fred won't be like that. Fred won't be like that with his son. I won't be like that with my, my son. Yeah. Yeah. But I my know. father was like that with well, me. Like, yes, he was <laughs> like that with me. All right. And he took. I'm, I'm likely to not be like that with my but, son because I'm like, oh, what? Okay. What?